glaive gate. We've gotta get down there and find Zendara. Form our lines. The next wave is on its way. I thought you died. With Devon. I'm just here to help. Feels like you need it. We were able to push them out here beyond the wall once our magic came back. That was you, wasn't it? Yeah. I made a mistake. I'm trying to fix it. Here's your chance. Thaddeus? Good to see you, kid. You too. Yeah. Thought you could use some more guns. I'll take it. Hold this position while Jack and I reinforce the main gate.
Been no word from Kirkin since the Palathon fell. So this is it, huh? We're what's left of the immortals? We. Hey now, alumni count. Jack of Saren! Yeah. Speaking of alum. You're to come to my flagship alone, or I'll kill everyone here. I've let the Queen's rebellion go on long enough as it is. You can try. Don't go crawling his hump, kid. Not yet. Hump is what? It means don't go picking a fight. I think I might know why he's here. Sandrak! It's been a minute. Ted. You look well. Well, you don't. You look wicked. Like a root grown wrong where the earth didn't want it. Who's picking a fight now? Shh! Watch. He's gonna bind him to an oath. I'm surprised you've come out of hiding. Yeah, weren't my first choice, but I owed the kid a favor. You mean it about him? He goes with you, he's safe? Gaia Sarastaya, Uenora Jachi. Ometedeliame, Atameni. You'll be there in due course. You just signed me up for what? I'll clean out your ears. He said you're going to his flagship. Can you think of a better way? To die? No, dummy. To figure out what Sandrak's plan is. The wound expanding this much, this fast? He knows he done fucked up. Thinks he needs another tryout to help him fix it. You have nothing to back any of that up. Now look, Sandrak went so nut nut, we got no choice. I'll go. He's right. Jack, I'm so glad you're alive. Kirkin, holy shit, where are you? Sandrak's flagship. I've been his guest for some time now. Better get back to Greyvale.
social temptation. Lucia Annie owes that. Because you tease it. Forgive us for starting early. Lavenish wolf herring is a frail plate at this altitude. I lost my appetite when you started threatening my friends. Ah, the misplaced, puff-chested vigor of youth. That's what was missing from the menu. You really are missing out. I resurrected the herring just for this occasion. A Lucian delicacy now extinct, a victim of the war. Doomed to Kirkin's gallery of vanished things, save for tonight. From the ether to your dish. Salut. At least you have your divine priorities straight. You're referring to the problem we're having with the wound. We've been working on a way to fix that. What is that? And hold on, you're working with him? I can conquer the world, Jack. But I can't save it. The wound widens faster every day now. With the power of the fonts, it obeys all of my commands. Except to stop. Maybe you broke it. This isn't me. The locus of energy at the base of the Pentasad? It's called the Maladar. The Aristean sign of the apocalypse. I know you've seen the Pentasad shrouded form, Jack. The so-called king of magic. Simultaneously standing there in the center of the wound, as if celebrating its hold on us. While skulking about in the dark below like some thonic puppeteer. This thing we blindly venerate? It's a demon, some wrathful god of old that loathes to share its wealth. When the Magni first learned to harness the Ley Lines, the Pentasad created the wound out of jealousy to punish them. Magic isn't destroying the world. The Pentasad is. Luna said you'd say something just like this. The Maladar it opened is one last gambit against the man who threatens to replace it. I want you to travel to the Shrouded Realm with me. Together? We can kill it. Kill it? The ship we built will take you there. Wait, you're seriously on board with this? This is Avium in a matter of days, Jack. We have to stand together on this. I can see no other way. Two things. First, you let me try to talk to it before we resort to violence. There has to be another solution. Second, I'm going to kill you when we're done. For Devin. These terms are entirely fair. Okay. Let's go. Go through the wound to reach the Shrouded Realm? In a way. Symbolically, yes. The deepest magics are based on ritual and reenactment. We perceive the Shrouded Realm as below us, so our descent here is a, a performance. And performance coupled with will creates reality. And you're using the Binding Stone to enhance that. Exactly right. This bathysphere Kirken and I engineered focuses its power and our will. If we pretend hard enough to go to the world below us, then inevitably we will get there. It is. The wound is more than a bottomless pit, Jack. It's a hole in reality. Ideas fall into it, as do memories. Why do you think the details of the past are so hard for us to remember? It's not senility, or the ineptitude of scholars, or the boot tramp of war, or anything mundane at all. It's parts of history literally sliding into this impossible void. As it's grown over the years, the wound's increasing gravity has even pulled concepts from our heads before we think of them. 
pulled words from pages of now empty books. Their shrouded realm, Atava, the wellspring of magic, dream, and prophecy. Sister to Avium and the land above. Ah, oh, my head. What is that? It's said that life here requires senses beyond our own. Yours are compensating. Stay strong or it will be painful. After my injuries in the Deep Mere, my brief journey here was excruciating. All that corruption. This place is becoming a landfill. Some believe our realms are imperfect shadows of each other. When one dies, the other follows suit. The Maladar is destroying them both. It wasn't this bad before. The Pentasad made these rules. I will unmake them. We will unmake them. Now that you have left Kirken's suicide cult. What's that supposed to mean? Of course. She never told you that immortals are charged with sacrificing themselves to heal the wound at the end of their tenure. Such a pointless endeavor. That sounds like an amazing amount of bullshit. Walk with me. I'll explain. The Immortals. It's a farce. You clean up small piles of corruption here and there, but that only lasts until you're too old to serve. Then she sends you to clean up a field of it, with a ritual that will end your life, take your soul. Kirken's agenda needed orphans like yourself to recruit, use up, and sacrifice, to keep the corruption at bay. You're lying. Am I? Ask Thaddeus why he left. It's not a grand order of warrior Magni, Jack. It's a sack of compost. You've been bred for sacrifice in order to grow a better garden. 